Okay. I'm just going to talk about the show before I look about the episodes. So, on the final episode, they just blow several bombs at us. Like, oh, Ryan's mom is still alive. Oh, Black Mask Origin. This and that and this and that. Oh, Kate's leaving to see her father and look for Batman and this and that and this and that. But, um, one of the things I want to talk about is Black Mask's origin. It's a bit different. But, I think they're gonna do what they did to Tommy Elliot. We saw Tommy in season one for a little bit. Here and there. He didn't really do much. Eventually, we see him in prison. We see him for a few minutes. Then Alice tells him her plan tears up his face. We see Hush three times. We only see him like three times, maybe four, when he is actually Hush. Then we never see him again. So I really don't want them to do the same with Black Mask. Gave him his origin, and then we see him in a cell besides Alice, still trying to get the mask off. Because Black Mask's mask is stuck to his body, which a lot of adaptations didn't go that way, even though it's faithful to the comics. This one did. Finally. They started him in, like, season one, episode two, I think, maybe three. And we finally got him to actually be Black Mask. In Birds of Prey, he just put on a mask, and eventually he was killed off. Just exploded. So he never got his mask permanently put on. But I would really like to see him in season three. But they haven't really done that with villains. Clue Master... Victor Zaz, people like them get like one episode and then we never see them again. They're talked about here and there, but they don't really do anything with them. The only villains that we've seen a few times are ones that they want to keep relevant to the plot. Like Hush, they bring him in when he's relevant to the plot. Like Magpie, they bring her in when she's relevant to the plot. It's just kind of stupid. Alice is the only one that is not brought in when she's relevant to the plot, but she's also brought in when she's relevant to the plot. Because she was brought in when Kate was dead, even though she had her own story going on, because she was relevant to what they needed. She was the one who needed to help Kate get her memories back. And I guarantee in season three... Which, I don't know if this is right or not, but... There's a pretty reliable source. That says season 3 is going to be their last season. But Batwoman will still be in the CW universe. Just, you know, they're not going to do the whole show anymore after season 3. Anyway. They... Um, I guarantee in season 3, Alice is going to be in jail for like 2 seconds. She's going to escape... And then as soon as she escapes, Ryan or somebody's going to need her because she's going to be relevant. Though I really like Alice. It's just, they just keep trying to force her into the plot. Now, talk about episodes wise. They try and make Kryptonite a big deal because it's Batwoman's weakness in this show because it's the only thing that can pierce her suit. Well... Ryan ends up almost dying from it. Gets healed and it's never talked about again as if it wasn't something super dangerous. And then, um... The final episode has a bunch of references, which I liked. But, you know... It's not like it's a live-action movie series. Because this show is honestly doing it better than the DCU right now from the few movies I've seen because in the final episode we got to see Joker's acid flower we got to see Bane's tube but we got to see Clayface's mud from like a piece of him there was a few other things that I don't really remember and then near the end of the episode we got to see Poison Ivy's vines 
and Penguin's hat and umbrella. So I liked seeing those references. So I really hope we'll get Poison Ivy and Penguin in the next season. Why am I getting so many notifications right now? Yeah, I really hope we'll get to see Poison Ivy and Penguin. And hopefully they go the Gotham route where they gave him more of an origin. Because he never really had an origin in the comics besides the whole eye thing. And I'll hope they stick to the crime boss like he usually is in the comics. The most I've seen him actually be like Penguin was in a clip I saw on YouTube from the movie Assault on Arkham where he's just a boss and crime boss and does whatever he wants. Besides Gotham, he was pretty good in Gotham. He was decent. Batman Returns, Danny DeVito did a pretty good performance, but it wasn't like a Penguin performance. Kind of like Heath Ledger, but he was just not good. Great actor, not a good Joker. Anyway, let's get to the episodes now. Number of episodes, 18. I'm pretty sure there was like 20. Okay, wow, Kate came in. Grimmel History. They introduced this character that's been like Ryan's crutch, trying to keep her out of trouble, even though all the time she's usually the innocent one. And then they don't really do anything with her until the final episode. Which I also thought was stupid because here comes a lion. And this, she's get locked in the prison. She manip um, not manipulates. She convinces the person that's been her side this long that hey, I'm Batwoman. And that's why there's all these guards out here. They're gonna kill me. I'm not gonna make it out of this building alive. And she convinces her, right? And then she beats the crab out of like six cops. Later, there's a line where she says, "I'm nothing without the suit," and a bunch of bullshit like that. It makes zero sense. Yes, Victor Zaz. I really like this guy as Victor Zaz. He's also a guy from Gotham that was in season 5 that didn't really do anything and then got killed off. He was sort of relevant to the plot and then got ditched. And he actually did a pretty good performance as Zaz. He was one of my favorite characters of this show, and he was only in one episode. I've always been a fan of Victor Zaz, and he did a pretty good performance. Not much for this one. Oh yeah, there's a stupid kryptonite plot I just talked about. Oh yeah, they had a plot with Jacob being forced snake bite. I didn't even really go much anywhere. I did really like when Alice find, found out that, um... Jacob actually did care for her. That was a really good scene. Alice, the actor for Alice is just such a good actor. She really conveys her emotions. Here's the episode about Clue Master that I was talking about. Oh, and um, I'm probably gonna rewatch Doom Patrol. I don't have the best memory, but I've been thinking about it. I remember so many good scenes from that show. I really liked it, so I'm going to rewatch it. Now that I have HBO Max, I'll be able to watch season two without buying it on DVD. But I'm going to rewatch the first season on DVD. Still need to watch Titan season one and two. Got a bunch of movies I need to rewatch, and I still need to watch Central Intelligence that I got like two months ago. So you can expect reviews on that. I'm gonna watch Hulk 2003 and Daredevil 2. 
And I'm gonna watch um, Electra too, right after Daredevil. Anyway, um, Tavarov was just a bit of a racist, evil cop. I think they would have done better without him. Cause he, he doesn't really do anything. He gets his, I think he gets his butt kicked by Luke. I don't really remember what happened. I just watched this episode last night. Um, she, supp- Mary supposedly has a snake bite. Holds it over a ledge when he's right behind her like a retard. <laughs> like, he's literally one inch behind you. You think he can't grab that? And he even calls her out for being stupid. Then Luke comes in and catches her. Nothing even really happens to Tavaroff, so... What was the point of giving him the Bane Serum if he's not even going to really do anything? I honestly knew he was still alive. Because he was a sort of developed character. I didn't think they were just going to kill him off with a failed experiment. Though they did do something similar by killing one of the characters they established through the season. One of my favorite characters, Ocean. They just killed him off. Off screen. Because, um... Alice comes back to the hideout to go see Ocean and he's stabbed with a knife in him and he's dead. We never even see him. Never got any last words. And then when Alice actually gets her last words, which she complained about because she wanted to actually be able to tell Ocean goodbye, she doesn't want to. So that didn't make too much sense, but at the same time, I get her reasoning. Ocean was one of the rare people that cared for her and saw her for who she was and didn't care, so. This sucked that they killed off Ocean so soon. Uh, the, the final episode, I talked a bit about this one. Probably my favorite scene. I don't know the exact line. But the episode starts with Black Mass controlling all the TVs and he makes it so all the channels are him. And then the kid's first concern about this dangerous criminal is, hey, this isn't America's funniest videos or something like that. It was a pretty funny scene. But, yeah. Honestly, I don't know why they didn't just turn the TV off and if that didn't work, just go into a different room without the TV. And the mute button should still work. But, yeah, that's about it for season two.